Hi everyone, here is second part of the mitral valve for review exam. Question 11. Uh, this image, uh, PZAX, as you can see, is at what show what uh, phase of the cardiac cycle and where is the uh, mitral valve orifice. The uh, following color M mode is belong to the beach valve and what abnormal or positive finding you can see on this one. You have to correspond with the EKG and guess the shape of the chart you can see which valve is this. Here we have four different uh, <coughs> study, 2D and uh, M mode, color M mode and M mode, these two. Uh, so uh, which of them doesn't have any evidence of the mitral regurgitation? In color doppler of the mitral valve regurgitation, which of the feature of the envelope uh, it's not reliable for grading of severity of mitral regurgitation. Is it duration of the jet, Vmax or velocity of the jet, density of the jet, and finally shape of the jet. Which of them is not reliable? Year 15. What is the differential uh, feature between the mitral stenosis and uh, mitral regurgitation? And 16, the most common cause of the MR is what? We are talking about the uh, development country, take it as this, but generally in worldwide based on the new research is the same, almost. And 17, what physiology change in the presence, presence of the um, moderate to severe or moderately severe mitral regurgitation? The size, normal size of the refractory and left ventricle, hemodynamic function of the left ventricle, decreased left atrium pressure or pulmonary congestion. 18. Which of the following condition can cause intermittent MR? Intermittent MR means, based on the situation, it is there, come and goes. In, uh, some situation when we scan or we will see patient has, at that uh, moment, has MR and another time doesn't have MR. We call it intermittent MR. How come is hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy? Next, in a patient with MR, we have two different type of the Doppler. One of them, two of them belong to the pulmonary vein. You have to correspond for making uh, diagnosis. You have to correspond with the EKG. And uh, two other belong to the mitral valve inflow. VTI and TVI, both of them are the same vein, uh, velocity time integral or time velocity integral, that is the European and VTI American. You have to look at the numbers, EV max, and here the pattern of the pulmonary vein. And in a patient with MR, which of the following represents significant MR? Here, when a contractor two, here jet area, here mitral valve inflow, and pulmonary vein Doppler. In this case, we have, uh, as you can see, most probably, you know, this is PZAX. Based on this, uh, if we do apical, in apical to PISA and venocontractor, our evaluation based on those two technique will be which of them is uh, in that technique as overestimating, underestimating, no, it will be accurate or none of them. 22 to 25, there are uh, four uh, questions in one case. The, we have a patient 
uh, that we measure mitral valve inflow 70 milliliter and LVO T stroke volume 50 milliliter. Now answer to this question. If the patient doesn't have any intracardiac shunt, what is the most probably diagnosis on this patient? 23. How much will be uh, pulmonary flow? I mean pulmonary artery if we measure it, how much will be pulmonary uh, flow com uh, with considering this finding? And 24. If in the systolic volume of in this patient be 110, how much will be ejection fraction? And finally, if heart rate is 60, how much will be cardiac output?